We all remember trying to get people to buy you beer and to party, and there was always that one person that would do it. And even then, as a 15-year-old, I would think, why did they do this? And when I read the script, um, and it went into the darker side of why she did it. That was it. It's something fresh I'd never seen before. And I think it's something we can all relate to because as kids, we were always looking for that person. Be careful what you wish for. Ma is the story of um, a group of teenagers, you know, reminiscent of every teenager in every town, every, every generation looking for something to do. And this woman who's lonely, decides to let them come to her house in secrecy and party in their basement. And um, there are consequences to doing that. And uh, once you go in that basement, it's going to be hard to leave. I knew how dark of a person Octavia can be. And it was just a perfect timing that she was frustrated with not being offered. She never had a lead role. And this script came across me, and it was written for a white woman. And I went to Blumhouse and I said, what if it was Octavia? And they went, you think she would do it? I said, hold on. And I went and called her. She's like, fuck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Diana Silvers plays Maggie. Um, I auditioned a lot of girls for this part. I think this was her first real part in a movie, which is just amazing. Um, she had this naturalistic acting style. She just felt like that girl you wanted to be friends with. McKaylee Miller is amazing. She, um, I think she's the third person I saw for the role and I called off the search. She's just, she, again, I love naturalistic actors and she's just got this spunk and, and, and the way she listens to her scene partners. You know this girl, you went to high school with everybody knows this girl and she was fantastic. It's just the ultimate form of escapism. And if you have aggressions and somebody represents someone that you may not like in real life, it's kind of fun to see their throat get slit. Now, even though the Shawshank Redemption didn't quite fully resonate with audiences while in theaters, it was its video release that made it one of the highest grossing video rentals of all time. Now, don't get me wrong, this could be because people like to ugly cry in the privacy of their own home. And I am one of them.